what have been some of the most meaningful changes since uh, 2014 that the Modi government brought in uh, that enabled uh, you know some of this growth? Well, I think the Modi government did very important things for India. First of all, Modi tried to solve and solve substantially the major problem for India that of poverty and deprivation. By this year end, most Indians will have a roof over the head, water in the tap, power in the switch, a toilet in the house, a stove in the house, a bank account, some money in the bank, a mobile phone connection, an internet connection, a medical insurance program uh, and health insurance, food on the table to the food program and education for the children and a road to the house. Now, once people go beyond survival, and they look at very different things and they're very different people. So he's solving the biggest problem that we had in the social sector. Second, he has solved the problem of infrastructure. Our national highway system is world class today in many parts of India. Our trains will be going at 45 kilometers an hour for goods traffic very soon from 25 kilometers an hour. Our ports, our airports are now grown beyond recognition. So internal logistic cost is coming down and becoming easier. Then he's brought in reforms in GST, 17 taxes into one tax. He's reduced corporate tax uh, to 25%. So corporate for profits are going up. Corporate tax collections have gone up. Compliance has gone up uh, tremendously. He's brought in changes in the law for foreign exchange to invest overseas easily. He has gone after black money, uh, black money people. He's brought in demonetization to put the fear into black money. And black money has substantially reduced uh, in the economy. And uh, he has made sure in the economic matters, a lot of activity has been taken to give more freedom to uh, people. And even the FDR regulations have been changed. Licensing has gone away for almost all industry. So you don't have to go to Delhi. So we are economically much freer today than 2014. And in the foreign affairs area, he has built bridges with everybody. The Middle East is now a friend. They're not a friend of Pakistan as much as India. Now the US is a deeper friend. We got association with Japan. And in the Ukraine conflict has demonstrated the independence of India's foreign policy, that India's national interest is dominate a foreign policy. We are not going to be anybody's poodle. Like we possibly were at one point of time of Russia, and then the United States, right? We're going to be independent. There's greater respect for India all over. And I think they've done a lot. And Modi also cleaned up the banking system, banking NPS are down, etc. So all the hard decisions that had to be taken to go to the next level of economic reforms have been done by Modi in the last eight years. And today, the economy is growing at a fast pace. Private sector investment is going up tremendously. We are seeing that corporate investment is also going up. We are seeing transportation costs come down. And we're seeing an improvement in the quality of life for many people. But rural areas, but urban areas have not benefited. Some of you know, the Modi government has not spent enough on urban areas. There's a smart city program, but it's too small. It's too small and not of much impact. We need larger programs. We need financial autonomy for the larger towns so they can grow because urban areas are engines of growth, not villages. Urbanization creates concentration of human activity. Concentration of human activity creates specialization. Specialization improves productivity and thereby income. So we need urbanization to create more jobs. It's happening in India, but it's become very painful. We need urban reforms. So I think a lot of work has happened for Prime Minister Modi since 2014. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad, Namaskar.